Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log in to Salesforce using your session ID. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. So basically, all you need to do is just to go to the developer console so you can get your session ID and after that we will be able to log in with your uh, session ID. So here we click on the setup menu, we go to the developer console and we will need just to open and execute a code. So from here, you will need just to uh, compose your session ID. And basically, let's just store it in this string. I will just call it SID. And from here, it should uh, have or it should include these uh, two properties, which is uh, the user info dot gets the organization ID. So you will need to have your organization ID plus your uh, session ID. So from here, we give it like that. And here we are going to get the user info again. So user info dot get the session ID. And after that, we will need to have it as string. So sub string all this. And from here, we get it like that. And after that, we will just debug this uh, variable so we can get the value and here we will do a debug and let's debug our variable which is the SID. We are going to execute and let's see where we did get uh, a mistake and it seems here we forgot an A and basically it should work now. So organization ID plus user info get session ID. And of course, here we have also a typo. So we execute, and now we can go to the debug session or to the debug uh, menu, and basically we will get our uh, session ID. So it will start after the debug. Here it will start with these two zeros. You copy it, and now we need to uh, reformulate our login, uh, our login uh, URL or login endpoint. So basically it should be something similar to this. So from here, you will need just to copy paste your ID that you have gotten. And after that, you will need just to add also here your own uh, endpoint host, which is your domain. In my case, I have this domain and I will just copy it. And from here, paste it. And here, add the SID that we got and you will be able to log in. So basically that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.